another vlog. It's Sunday. It's the last day of what is called Golden Week here in Japan. So it's the last day of like a 10 day long holiday. So I'm really sad as I'm sure many people would be. But we're gonna end it on a good note. It's Mother's Day, but before I see my mom today, I'm gonna get my ears pierced. I've talked about this in previous vlogs about how I've been wanting to get my ears pierced. And today I'm finally gonna do it. Well, I am thinking of getting my second and third piercings on my lobe, on my left ear, because I have two already on my right. And just something about not wanting to have like a very symmetrical ear thing is, I feel like a common concept that I think we all share. I do want to get a cartilage, but like I've said in the past, I'm scared of scarring, so I'm leaning towards not doing that. Hence, playing it safe, doing earlobe, which is surprisingly not any cheaper than doing anything on the cartilage. I'm going to this place in Harajuku called Extreme Body Piercing, which sounds actually like, you know, pretty extreme, pretty intense. So I don't know if it's really the best place to be doing my lobes, but that's where all my friends got their like ears and like belly button pierced, just to give you a little history of my piercings. Um, my first ones I got in fourth grade in Bronxville when I was living there at like a local jewelry store. So that was like very clean, pristine environment because of course it's my first piercing and my parent, my mom like took me there. I was crying. My second piercing here, my mom was not very happy about. I I was in high school, I forgot what year, but my friend and I bought a gun at Claire's Gun in Shibuya and then we, or my friend, did, did the procedure at a public bathroom at the Tsutaya bookstore in Shibuya. Not the most preferred way of getting pierced. Fortunately enough, I didn't get any infections, but the placement is not like the best it's towards the bottom which it happens because it was a gun and it was my friend who you know is clearly not a professional as much as i probably would not have any problems using another claire's gun on my earlobes here i don't want to risk anything and might as well pay the big bucks to get a nice piercing that won't get infected and that would look nice and be neatly placed so this is what i'm gonna do and i'm gonna take you and other after that it's already going to be the afternoon, probably get some coffee or tea. And then, like I said earlier, it's Mother's Day, so I'm going to go see my mom and get dinner with her and my sister. Because that's what I guess we're supposed to do on Mother's Day. I already gifted her flowers yeah, last night because I bought them a day early and didn't want them to like go bad before I give it to her. So the gift is already there. I just had to bring my body and like be present in the day, in the moment with her. So that's what I'm gonna do later. But I'm gonna go get ready now. All right, quickly sharing here what I'm wearing. I'm wearing the same thrifted graphic shirt that I was wearing earlier when in Portland. You've might have seen in my other videos. And then I'm wearing my go-to jeans from Public Tokyo that are made in Japan, which I love because, you know, support local businesses. And then I'm wearing this I know it's an animal derived fabric, but a cashmere green cardigan that is perfect for spring. It is this like, I don't know if it's intentionally designed this way, but the sleeves are a bit short, which again is perfect for the spring because you don't want to be too warm, but also it's not hot enough that I could just be rolling around in a t-shirt, at least not today. So that's what I'm wearing and I'm just going to wear a jacket, or not a jacket, hold a bag, shoes, of course and then get going but i'll see you in harajuku
and I'm back. Um, like you saw, I already got my ears pierced. You saw these, I got two. This third one, I got the gem, which is an extra 3,000 yen, and this one is just a normal silver. They did place the third one a bit higher than what I was initially expecting because my ear is kind of shaped, you can see on this side, but it's like curved over. And hence, they kind of had to adjust the placement, but I think I like it. It's still the earlobe, so not the cartilage, less pain, less risk of infection. I did realize now that I'm going to the beach in a little over a week, so fingers crossed that everything heals partially by then. It is going to be seawater, like the ocean, so it shouldn't be as risky as like going to a pool or a lake or whatnot, but I do get the saline solution, so that should help, fingers crossed. Knock on wood. But yeah, I'm gonna do my laundry now. Okay, not sponsored at all or anything, but I was gifted these laundry strips, which apparently are a thing on the TikToks. Did not know that, but I guess once the company reached out to me, I started seeing TikToks of like different companies doing these strips. They're biodegradable and vegan, made out of, again, biodegradable things. So it's good for the water, it's less waste. And I've done a couple loads on it and yeah, if you're looking for laundry strips, I recommend. It's True Earth. I think they're a Canadian brand, but I was very happy that they reached out. Again, I, I like try to be picky and mindful about which brands I accept. So this one was a very happy notice that I got and so far I don't see any difference between using it versus um, like my normal plant-based liquid detergent, but it's plastic free so why not choose the option that has less waste? Okay, I'm just gonna do my laundry, fold it up, and then edit. I'm running, as usual, a bit late in my editing. And then, like I said earlier, I have work tomorrow, which is gonna be a bit dreadful, considering that we're coming back from a 10-day holiday. But I guess I'll vlog tomorrow, briefly. Nothing's, not, it's not, nothing's gonna be really interesting because it's a work day, but you'll see, you'll see that. For yourself. I'm working as you would know I assume it's gonna be a day where I'm home all day long because I have work all day long it's past five now I'll probably eat oatmeal or something for dinner because I'm craving something sweet after my very savory flavorful lunch so gonna do that and then hop on a couple more calls for work. Let's see what time we end today. Not looking too hot, but who knows? Maybe I can be lucky. Five hours later. It's 10.30, but I have not gone anywhere. My body is stiff, but I continue to sit and work because that is the world I live in. And it's cold. It's like 10 degrees today. It's pouring rain. So I'm getting all cozy in my little blanket and trying to do little foot exercises so my ankles don't get too stiff. I ended up working till past midnight that day and up till like 2 a.m. on the remaining days of the week. So let's just say that that week was just not my week in terms of work. But luckily, ever since I've been able to take some time off to recuperate and regain my my mental health. So I'm just gonna end it on this note. Yeah, thank you again for watching, and I hope to see you in another video soon.